and welcome back uh today we are going to be looking at the xiaomi this is uh the second gen this is the newest version of the mi box um people have been asking about this thing so we're going to go ahead and check this out and see how it is if you guys are brand new to the channel please consider subscribing and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back um Okay, um, if you guys are interested in this stuff, shoot me an email because I always try to hook you guys up with the deal. Um, so I'm gonna be selling this one. Um, so here it is. This is the new device. It's pretty small, looks good. Um, doesn't look like there's breathing room on the bottom. In the back, it does look like you have a power. This looks like a USB, maybe 2.0. It has the HDMI and then an audio and that's pretty much it very simple very very basic so what else do you get in this little guy here um it's kind of funny because it looks like like most of those little chinese boxes but just in miniature size so you do get a little reading material you will get your power supply here and it has a little me logo on that which is pretty cool um basic hdmi cable i'm going to be using my audio quest that is a 4k cable just to test it out um this is going to be a standard cable which is fine and then the the xiaomi remote so um i don't think it comes with batteries I, I, unless it's inside the remote so no batteries you do need two uh triple a batteries so i got my two batteries here that i'm going to be using so the remote, I have to say, it feels very good. It's actually like, it just, it, it just, it's a, it's a lot longer than the Fire Stick remote, just for comparison, right there. Um, and it has like a bunch of like blank spots here, which I kind of wish they kind of just would have shortened it. They don't really don't need all this real estate for nothing. Um, the only reason why this real estate is even there maybe is because of the batteries, but they probably could have adjusted that a little bit higher. Um, or in a different way. So you do get your power, you get your Google Assist, up, down, left, right, um, the select button. Um, you got your Show Me TV Plus, your return home, and then Netflix, Prime Video, YouTube, and then an apps button, which I like. I want to see how this works. And then, of course, volume or plus, plus minus, I'm guessing it's going to be volume, not, not a ch change of the channel. So let's go ahead and plug this in and see what we get. So when you do plug it in, I don't know if you guys can tell, there's a little tiny light right there that's flashing. So not bad. And let's come here to my device to see how it looks. So there it goes. Looks like it's gonna start launching. So when it comes to the pairing, um, so it says hold the buttons on the remote for four seconds to start pairing. So it, it, it looks like it's gonna it's asking for these two buttons here. That's gonna be the show me plus and the home button. So I'm gonna hold it and see what happens. Now it says connecting, so pretty cool. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and shrink my guy here. This is all the languages that you get. So of course I'm speaking in English. So I'm gonna do this one and then you select your region and then you have to set up your Google code. So with this one, all you have to do is just scan that QR code, which I have my phone right here and I'm only scanning half of it. Um, and it has like a little setup code, so make sure you do that. Now, before you do down, uh, before you uh, download anything or search the code, um, this code is not for your camera. You don't you don't just open your phone, camera, scan it. You have to download and open the Google Home app on your phone first. So, I already have the Google Home app, so there it is. And I let me see. It says devices, add favorites. So it says download the Google Home app on your phone to get started. When instructed in the app, scan the QR code. So the only problem is, is that this thing doesn't tell me what, like, what to scan. So on the bottom right-hand corner there, there's a thing here called devices. So you want to click on this. And then from devices, you want to click on that plus sign right there. So let's click on that plus sign. Um, you're going to get options here to choose a device. So we're going to go ahead and choose new device. We're just going to go for home and it's going to start searching for devices. So it says Google TV device has been found and just follow the on-screen instructions. Would you like to set it up? Hit yes. 
It's going to say now, scan the QR code. So I'm going to hide my guy here and do it. And there we go. Now it's, it's doing the same thing, connecting. So it's pretty simple once you get to that stage. I know it's a little bit confusing with the setup. So that's how you set this thing up from the start. So just follow your phone's instructions, hit accept, um, say what room you're going to want to do it in, just follow the on-screen instructions, and then uh, make sure you are connected to the Wi-Fi. Now, the last step I recommend is on the phone, it's going to say choose your subscriptions. So they do have like YouTube, um, they do have uh hulu and it says youtube comes with your device you cannot unselect youtube for now um, there's a couple things here that you could already add just hit next and then for ambiance you could do google photos and it'll set up like whatever photos you want which is nice so again follow the on-screen instructions turn this on to your preferences that you want and then once you're completely done then this thing is going to launch and download whatever it needs so yeah pretty simple now from here, it is going to do the whole Google Assist. So you could just hit continue. It's going to add you a couple of things to do. So everything that you just did on your phone now is kind of like asking you again. Um, and it looks like it was just two things on the phone. It was a little bit more detailed. This one just has a couple things here. Show me TV, make it free. So that's kind of neat. So just hit right, right, right all the way. Um, and then it's going to say preparing your remote. So I'm going to skip this step, but you can control your TV with the remote, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna skip it for you guys, just hit okay and then I'll start searching for your stuff. One last thing here is it's gonna say, do you agree to their terms and conditions? Obviously, if you're gonna wanna use it, just hit agree. It's gonna say installing apps and then from here, let it do its thing and leave it alone. Okay, so after the setup, I think that took like, I had to pause it for like three minutes. Um, and again, that's all gonna be based on how many apps you got, so yeah look at this home screen so at the top you have a for you and oh that's funny look at this my youtube video is recommended <laughs> um yeah so you got your for you at the top live apps library like tons of stuff here that you can choose from so i'm gonna do a whole separate video of everything on here but for now um let's go ahead and look at the specs and see what it is that we get all right, here we go. Here is Ida 64, and we are gonna get started with how this thing looks like. Okay, so this is the Xiaomi. It says model is Mi TV AFKRO. Um, but the board is Jaws. That's funny. And Logic chipset. You get two gigs of RAM. I think it's advertised as eight gigs of internal storage, but you're left with about 4.4. This device is just going to be for your basics. Nothing crazy, so don't overload it. Um, as far as your CPU goes, it is the ARM Cortex A55. It's going to be a quad core. Your display, I am using a 4K card and a 4K cable, and it's picking it up as 19... 20p so you're gonna get a, a, a 1080 1920 by 1080 p um molly g31 and as far as android it's gonna be running android 11 now for codex the most important thing here that you're gonna need to know so you do have your decoder and encoder it looks like it's quadruplets for uh ct android and omx um latm 3gpp amr flock ala mla MPEG, Opus, RAW, Vorbis, um, and it does look like you have some extra decoders, DTS HD um, from MLogic, so that's pretty good. You got decoder AC3, DTS, DTS HD, uh, DTS HD SE, um, EAC, and FFmpeg, MPEG L2. So you get a lot of stuff here. This is a lot of decoders. As far as your videos, you get your, there's one up here, kind of random VP9. Um, when you come down here towards the bottom, VP6A, VP6F, interesting. Um, AV1, here's your MLogic Awesome 2s, which is great. Dolby Vision, which I love to see, all three of them. So you get your... DVHE, DVAV, and DAV1 Dolby Vision, all awesomes. 3GPP, HEVC, X Motion, JPEG, MPEG 2, MP4VES, RM10, 20, 30, 40, 
you get everything that you're going to possibly want and some. It's got HEVC, H263, 264. Like, we can go on here for a while just on the specs on this thing. This is great. So what does that all mean? That means whatever app you're using, whatever it is that you're trying to see within that 4K quality, you're it's going to be able to read it and display it because this thing is a... Uh, I, I'm running a 4K cable and a 4K uh, capture card. It's going to be looking at as a 1080p, um, which means that screen's going to be really crystal clear. Now, just keep in mind, because the device is really low on storage to begin with, you don't want to load it with a grip ton of stuff. Really good, really basic. Um, it's got Dolby and everything. Everything with the box says it does have, which is great. So... Yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. The upgrade from Gen 1 to Gen 2 looks like is a definite must. This is a really, really good one. So, yeah, hope you guys are doing good. You guys take care, take care of each other. See you guys in the next one.